Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Aki Ukbal and here we discuss about Bitcoin, options trading, live trade and chart analysis. Welcome to another video. I know that I have not been putting up videos lately because I was quite busy with my work. Uh, uh, for this past few weeks, I was not able to even go for my regular runs. So this was, how do I put it? It's, it's, it's quite a hard time for me as well. I hope you guys can understand. So without further delay, let's jump right into our today's content. So today we are going to learn about position sizing. And uh, as a thumbnail indicator, I'm going to share with you guys uh, how how you can scale up your trading account and uh, what is the reasoning behind it and uh, what is the importance of having a good position sizing because you can have the best strategy in the world if your position sizing is not good, you will be having a really, really hard time as a trader and most of the traders, this is what happens sometimes their strategy is really good but they don't know how to scale up or they don't know uh, what is the size of the contracts they should be trading because they'll be doing really well in a smaller amount when it gets to a big bigger amount then they are struggling to perform so without further delay let's jump right into our today's content so before starting off i will share with you guys my pnl my pnl for the month i will show you guys uh, how was it how was it uh, so far and ho i hope you guys also having a good time if you are an option seller and if you are following my strategies definitely you should be having a good time do let me know in the comment section uh, how was it for you guys so this is past seven days let's uh, sorry so this is past seven days uh, so i will share with you guys uh, this entire month let's click on october 2022 and let's apply yes as you can see what you see over here this month has been going really really well for me in fact uh, i haven't touched a red day at all there was no red days there was some days where i ended, exited at break even uh, the strategy if i'm not wrong there was two days we went uh, red in the strategies that means uh, there was two days we lose in the strategy but definitely that was the days which is uh, the market really extended when then i took an opportunity with the mean reversion by which i always trade uh, in my option buying strategy where i where i trade so basically this month is going really well for me and uh, don't get me wrong here if you're new here you know that you may wonder you may be wondering i have some secret strategy where i can be 100 percentage definitely not i'm just taking high probable trades and the strategy has a 75 percentage statistical win rate i would say so i'm just using that particular strategy and uh, it's working out really well for me so far so in this month it is uh, really good right now i'm about 42 percentage or uh, if i'm not sure about 45 percentage uh, uh, return on capital deployed so um, i'm very happy with the performance that uh, the trading account is having at this and uh, myself is having for this particular month and i'll share with you guys if you remember in the beginning of the month we started with about 850 usdt and right now we are sitting about 1488 usdt so you'll be wondering that is an insane um, return, right? It is close to 50 percentage. Don't get me wrong here. It, this is not completely my uh, profit from the trading. Uh, after, if I'm not wrong, uh, as I said, my trading uh, profit is about roughly about 400 and 400 or 420 USDT after trade minusing off the trade charges. So after that, I got some uh, trading bonus from Delta Exchange. Delta Exchange was having some promos if i'm not wrong i don't know if i can see it in the desktop window but when if you're using a mobile phone definitely you will see these offers let me click on the offers to see if they are running any offers or something like that so there was offers going on um so you see this three three 30k trading bonus if you trade up to this and all this kind of thing so there was a 3k trading bonus something like that was going on up to 1k sorry up to 1k trading bonus which was running for a while so i was uh, trading and i got like a 300 from that so uh, this month was like uh, quite nice for me and also the i got a uh, trading benefit from delta exchange so i got about 300 usd uh from delta exchange as well so that's why my trading capital is close to 1.5k okay so now we'll discuss we'll go back to our topic the main topic that we had to discuss for the, uh, for the day which is position sizing so i'm going to take my trading uh, capital as an example but let's say if your capital is uh, not this if your capital is something small or something even bigger but it's okay you can just make the adjustment i'll also share with you guys how how you should be making the adjustments how you should be calculating a different different kind of things all right so with that uh, with uh, 
when we are going to explain about position sizing, you should know what is a position sizing. So, what is a position sizing? Position sizing is basically the number of quantity or the number of contracts that you should be trading. Number of quantities of shares if you're trading on a shares in this case i'm trading on options so in our terms we say contracts so what is the number of contracts that you should be trading or what is the number of shares that you should be trading as a trader so that is position sizing and for me if you follow me you will know that i trade on a fixed number of contracts for a month in a month i will only trade the same number of contracts so you must be wondering why it is that why should i be doing that because I'm making money over the course, why can't I increase my contract size? I will share with you guys exactly why. Just imagine you are trading with a, let's say a capital of, in this case, let's say a capital of 1,500. And when you, my risk to reward is one is to one, I keep one is to one. So $38, I'm risking to get $38 reward. And the quantity I'm trading, as I said, is 500 and it will remain same throughout the month. Even if I win the first five trades, I'm not going to increase my uh, position sizing. Just imagine I win the first 10 trades and my capital is sitting about really good right now, right? Let's say I'm trading with a hundred dollar. Uh, let's make it very simple. hundred dollar and my risk to reward is 10 is to 10. I won the very first 10 trades. My capital is sitting about $200 right now. Now I'm increasing my risk to $20. Okay. Then comes the losing streak. Because every time when you have a winning streak, you are going to have a losing streak followed by it. If you are following a particular strategy, if you are following one strategy and if you are trading on the base of it, definitely after that long uh, winning streak, there will be a long losing streak or not a long losing streak. You can lose up to three to four or five to trades in, in a row. So let's say first 10 trades we win. So we started with $100 capital. 10 trades in a row we win. 10 is to 10 is the risk to reward and we made $200. 10 trades win. We are super high confident we feel like yes we we cracked it we cracked the code yes uh, we made it now we are going to just increase the position sizing yeah our capital is 200 we increase the position sizing based on let's say okay we are going to trade on uh we increase the when you increase our position sizing definitely your risk is going to increase as well as well as your reward is also going to increase for sure in the first case our position sizing was 10 percentage right because we are looking about what uh, we are risking about uh, um, ten dollars to get ten dollars. So one is to one is the risk to reward, and uh, the capital that we are using is our entire capital, which is let's say one hundred dollar and ten percentage. So we are risking about ten percentage, which is quite a lot of money. This is just an example, okay? Don't uh, don't risk ten percent of your capital in a trade. Uh, this is just an example, take. Okay. So now you have two hundred, then you are risking same ten percentage. So when you risk ten percentage again. So what is going to happen is 20 is to 20. Your risk to reward become 20 and your uh, how do I put it? Your position sizing is also increased. Let's say you are trading at a 500 quantity. Now you are trading at the double the quantity, which is at 1000. And you're losing six starts. You lose five, five in a row. That means all the profit that you gain will be gone. You'll come back to the same amount, which is 100. Now you are upset because it took you 10 days to make that money. In five days, you lose it. Now you are really upset about the market. You try to revenge the market. You try to do something. Then you're going to blow up that, uh, blow up that uh, $100, which is your initial capital. This happens to most of the traders out there. Okay, don't get me wrong here. It happened to me as well. I'm not say, sitting here and saying that uh, I, am, I haven't done any of this thing. I have done all these kind of things as well. That's why I'm sharing. With my experience, I'm sharing with you guys what is the right way to do it. So if just imagine you're keeping your risk to reward as same in that case, that means you're still keeping in as 10 is to 10, uh, sorry, one is to one, which is 10 percentage, $10, uh, $10 on a risk at $10 reward. Even if you lose that five, you are still at $150. You still have that $50 you made. Then you started making money again. Then you will, you'll be, I mean, you'll be ending up a uh, profit in this particular month when you get out of the month. All right. So this is the reason why I recommend to keep the same number of position sizing throughout the month. So throughout the month, you keep the same number of position sizing. I hope it's clear for you guys. And in this example, which we're going to explain over here, there is a few conditions that needs to be met. So this is basically the strategy that I'm doing, right? So it has a statistical win rate of 75 percentage. So I'm assuming I take a 20 trades uh, in a month, then 
15 tries I'll win, 5 tries I'll lose because 75 percent mean right? If you do the math, you will know. Uh, so, 5 tries I'll lose, total I'm taking about 20 tries. So, because I'm predicting based on certain conditions, I'm not sure that the condition will meet in every days, but I'm assuming it will meet in at least 20 trades. Uh, and if any of the any of you guys who are watching is a stock trader, you must be wondering, you only have 20 days, 20 trading days in a uh, month. Uh, I trade on uh, crypto, so I have more trading days. I have 30 trading days. That's why I use 20 as an example. But if you are trading on uh, stock, you can you can reduce it to 15 or uh, I don't know 10 or 15 based on your based on your based on the type of thing that you are trading so this is one of the assumptions and the next thing is um, just I just want to share with you guys how I got the PNL PNL is basically I'm winning uh, 15 trades I'm losing 5 trades so which is $562 which I win from the reward 818 uh, and I said $187.5 which I'm losing on my losing trades total about 375 dollar is the profit that i'm making on this particular month i hope it's clear for you guys how i got 375 so basically this is the condition 75 percentage win rate risk to reward is one is to one and capital using is thousand five hundred dollars so why thousand five hundred just because my capital right now is at thousand five hundred dollars in the october so i this is this is exactly i'm sharing with you guys my pnl so at least you guys know what is the mindset behind my contracts why i'm trading on 500 contracts what is the reason behind it i hope you will understand now i'll share with you guys some interesting things to take note as well so why i'm risking this what is the reason behind this 38 dollar why not 100 dollar because i have about 1500 dollar in my trading account why did why didn't i risk 100 dollar or why didn't i risk 150 dollar in the example that we mentioned when we are trading at 100 uh, we risk 10 dollar which is 10 percentage right I could risk $150 over here right? because I have $1,500 $1, capital right now. So I can risk 10 percentage right. So this is something that you will learn as you will progress. The best, I mean, I wouldn't say the best. I, I say, uh, if let's say your trading capital is really small, let's say it's $100, then you can risk 10 percentage, which is let's say $10, which is okay because $10 is not a big amount. As your capital gradually increase, you have to reduce your size. Let's say initially it was 10 percentage when your capital increase, let's say to $500. At that time, you will not risk $50. I mean, it is insane to risk $50 uh, when your capital is $500. You will re reduce the risk. You'll reduce the risk to maybe 5 percentage. Maybe you'll risk or uh, 5, uh, maybe 5 percentage. 5 percentage is actually, uh, let's say if you are risking 5 percentage, it's about $25. You risk $25, which is quite okay. Because your capital is five hundred dollars, it is not a big amount, so still you can trade. Once your capital is, let's say, reach one thousand dollar, then you're not gonna risk five percent. If you risk five percent, it's still fifty dollars, a bigger amount for you. So what you'll do? You'll reduce the risk to two point five percent, which is twenty five dollars. Then you'll risk twenty five dollars. And for me, I'm in that scale right now, right? I'm at thousand five hundred dollars capital. It's my capital, so I'm risking about two point five percent of thousand five hundred, which is $38. I hope you guys understand how I come up with my risk. My risk or my maximum risk in a day or in a trade is 2.5 percentage of my entire capital. I'm not risking anything more. Why do I do that? Why do I do that? Because uh, as you know, as a trader, it's the most important thing is to manage your risk, to make sure you survive in the market to trade on the next day, right? Because you don't want to risk this entire 1500 on the first day and you're going to lose it, then you'll feel bad and all this kind of thing. You'll do the revenge trading. You will never be make it. You will never be able to make it as a trader. So very important guys, very important for you guys to understand. Do not risk anything more than, let's say once you close, uh, you cross the thousand dollar mark. Don't risk anything more than 2.5 percentage in any trade, in any trade or any day. Okay. Make sure your max risk or max, uh, loss you keep it as a um, less than 2.5 percentage this is what i will advise okay so i hope you guys understand what is uh, the risk what is the reward which is same one is to one and what is the quantity uh sorry what is the pnl this you will understand now we are going to talk about the main topic which we discussed about today which is the position sizing when i say quantity it is the contracts or the quantity of shares or the number of contracts that you're trading for uh this thing for the uh for that particular trade 
so you will know why i choose 500 for this particular uh, particular month let's go to delta exchange platform because i trade in delta exchange i'm sh sharing this as an example but if you are trading in any other things just just go ahead please do whatever uh, things works whatever thing works for you so as you know when i take a trade let's take this as an example because this is uh, more likely the kind of uh, um how do I uh, the kind of uh, premium contract value which i uh, usually trade on so uh, if you are a stock trader, please bear with me. This is basically I trade on options. That's why I share like this But if you are trading on stock, just uh, understand that this 55 this will be the price of the stock In uh, when you trade options, basically the we trade on the price of the premium itself So this is the price we trade on not this So if you are a stock trader, you can just look let's say you are buying a $55 stock for me What I trade usually is a $60. So I'm gonna change this to 60 for the reference because you know it I trade on a premium which is between 55 to 65 so I, I'll take average as 60 so for the easiness of users to understand and for let's say you are a stock trader and if you don't understand what is happening on my window right now don't worry just understand that this 60 is the price of the stock let's say imagine you are trading a stock and the price of the stock is at 60 okay so it will it will it will make uh, I mean you will be able to understand what what I'm trying to say so let's say 500 contracts as i said i am trading on 500 contracts why do i choose this number 500 contracts right this is very important for you to understand so this is what we are going to discuss about today position sizing how should i keep my position sizing so as you can see if let's say i'm going to win i'll make about 29 dollars 50 cents in this particular trade and if i'm going to lose which is my sl i usually keep is at 180 dollars that means uh if the premium price goes down i will take the book the profit when it goes down to one pre uh, one dollar and if the premium shoots up to 180 dollar i will accept the loss and i'll get down at 60 dollars so i'm risking 60 over here when i'm getting 30 over here so based on my strategy you know i'm an option seller so i make a strangle right short strangle i make a basic thing actually i'm just a delta neutral strategy i would say i'm selling a call as well as selling a put so what i'll be getting i'll be getting 30 dollar from uh each side if i'm if i win if i lose i'm gonna lose on one side only because the market is gonna move one side then i'm gonna lose 60 dollar 60 dollar and uh, other side i will win 30 dollar which will be 30 dollar loss so in this case what is my uh, risk to reward which is punishment right if i'm winning i make 60 dollar because i win from both the side if i lose one side i lose $60 which is uh, on the one side and the other side I will win $30 which will compensate it to as $30 so my rest to reward is 1 is to 1 which is 60 is to 60 for this particular month just imagine so the question um, sorry the, the question that um, you guys will be wondering right now is okay so I have you understand what is the rest to reward that I'm following you you understand so you'll be you'll be thinking right now why should i choose this 500 contracts so here is uh here is the important fact that you should know you should go back to your capital again you should go back to your capital you should check your capital let's say 1500 dollars and the maximum risk i'm going to take is 38 dollars so you know already you have a risk cap capacity to take 38 dollar of risk a day so but now you see over here i'm taking only a risk up to 30 dollars so you'll be wondering you said 38 you can take up to a risk of 38 why are, why are you taking only a risk up to 30 dollar so in the trade there is a lot of thing which you should be aware of which is called as a commission trading fees and all this kind of thing which your brokers charge you right so let's say uh, my broker will charge every time i enter into a trade that means i enter into two trades at a time let's say two dollar two dollar i lose four dollar already over there then when it's executed i lose maybe one dollar one dollar then i'm losing about six dollar seven dollar so i'm paying about average uh, uh, five dollar six dollar every day for my trading so i know that i'm going to lose six dollar no matter i win no matter i lose i'm going to pay six dollar to my broker every day just to enter into a trade and execute into it, execute the trade because i'm entering two trades at a time right and i'm exiting it both so it is about four execution total so let's say i'm paying about eight dollars so i'm paying about i calculate the maximum so let's say i pay two dollar two dollar each for each of these trade executions then i'm paying about eight dollars 
Now you add up that eight dollar over here. Now you will understand why my position sizing is thirty eight dollars, which is two point five percentage thirty eight. So I'm risking about thirty eight. If I'm losing, I know the maximum, including the trade charges, the maximum risk I'm going to take is thirty eight dollars. So thirty eight dollars maximum I'm going to lose in a day, and if I win, I'm going to make also thirty eight dollars. So you will be wondering, hey, but based on your strategy over there, I saw is something around sixty dollars, right? You put sixty to sixty, okay. So 60 is to 60, same goes to the strategy as well. So let's say even if I'm making 60, you know that I'm not waiting for the entire day to, I mean, the contract to go to zero. Sometimes I exit early as well. So in that case, what happens is, uh, sometimes I make $50, then minus of my $8, I'll make about $40. So roughly about $40 to $50 is what I make. If you look at my uh, trading, some of the days I make 38, 35, 37. So, on an average, I will make about $38. That is my average. That's what I take my average as $38. Yeah, I know that I make about sometimes $40, $50, but it depends. Sometimes I make $30, $20, $19 as well. Okay. So that is why I took an average as $38. So I hope it's, uh, it's clear for you guys uh, why I take this 500 contracts. I take this contract based on the maximum risk. If let's say I change this contracts to 1000 because uh, let's say, uh, let's say, let's say, because you know that I took 50x leverage, right? Let's take, I take a 50x leverage. You know that I trade on 50x leverage. Let's say I take 50x leverage. I took a best bid. So let's say 51. Let's say it was 60. Then how many contracts I can trade? I can trade, let's say, 50%. Uh, let's say I deploy 50%. I can actually trade like this. Or if, in one side, because I ended two trades at a time, right? I can risk uh, $225 to make $111, $111 on both the side, which will be equal to $225. So I could do this. I could risk about uh, $200, uh, sorry, $125 to make $120. But that will be an insane amount of risk if I took it, if I do it. I want you guys to understand, okay? Even though I have a capacity to take more risk or I have the capacity to go for a higher number of contracts, I can even do a thousand contracts if I want. I could I could go for a sorry, I could go for this a thousand contracts. In this case, I'm risking. This is uh, sixty sixty. This is the double the size, right? If in this case I'll be risking about sixty dollar to make sixty dollar. So what is the, what is the impact over here? If I do like this, uh, my trading will be. I'm I'm risking about five percentage, which I don't want. I don't want to lose more money, uh, lose money like this. I'll be trading with the the maximum risk capacity. My maximum risk, I already defined it earlier, which is 2.5 percentage of my trading capital. So my position sizing will be 500. So this satisfies my risk for the month. My risk for the month is already defined. I will I will say one more time. My risk for the month, which is already defined, which is 2.5 percentage of my initial capital which is $1,500 and I'll be taking only that I'll be taking only that risk based on that risk I'm taking the number of contracts that I'm trading so I want you guys to understand this once you understand this clearly then it's much more easier for you to progress as a trader so let's say I'm going to do this let's say I'm going to do this for next month let's see if I'm going to replicate the same Let's say we made like uh, 375 dollars PNL. Sorry. So let's say we make about uh, 375 dollar as a um, uh, as a PNL. Like uh, we made the let's say 375 dollar. Just a moment. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. So uh, let's say we make about 375 dollar, which is this amount. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this. Uh, sorry. okay let's assume okay let's assume we are doing this strategy for for quite some time let's see what will be our result let's uh let's do the let's do the math for let's say we are doing continue doing this for six months we are going to do for number december january february march and april right so one two three four five six we are gonna continue doing the same strategy for six months let's see what will be the our let's see what will be our 
let let's see what will be our capital let's see what will be our pnl towards the end of this uh, six months as you can see if i am continuously doing this strategy if i am continuously doing this particular strategy if i am continuously following the same system and trading with uh, the same amount of capital as i progress i make more money and more money and more money i start up with 1500 in six months it will go to 2k if i i mean in over this course how should i increase my positions i think it's the same actually it's uh it's the same it's same as this you just you just add it you just double up the quantity so let's say if you're trading more the most easiest way to do it is uh check check like the way i did go to the build exchange platform where you're trading account platform check them what is the maximum risk check what is the percentage of the risk that you're taking then based on that choose the quantity okay always always trade like that don't try to always keep things at the stop loss if you keep everything at the stop loss the problem is the stop loss will be near when you hit the stop loss and okay it's it's gone when your position sizing is good that means you will have a more chance to stay in the trade for a long period of time okay i hope it makes sense all right guys so like this if i am doing for the six months let's say continuously i'm doing so for rest of the same same i made about 400 dollars then my capital increased sorry my capital is 1500 this is wrong is this plus this okay sorry sorry sorry, sorry. guys i got something wrong okay yes so this is the result for six months if let's say i'm trading with uh, 1500 dollars and i make a profit then the profit will be added up my risk is increased reward is increased i made a profit the profit is added up my risk is increased my reward is increased i made a profit i add up like that it goes if you continuously do like this i know that the initially if you look at it the the profit that you make in a day is not that much but this is what i said in the beginning of the video the power of compounding so compounding is the eighth wonder of the world right like <laughs> according to albert Einstein, it's true just imagine the power of common let's see the capital is your capital was 1500 in six months we are making close to our capital initial capital in a month so let's say we are going to continue the strategy for one year let's say till november next year november we are doing the strategy let's see what is going to be our uh pnl for this uh let's see what what is going to be our PNL. so if if you are doing the same strategy over and over again and if you are continuously doing this this is going to be the uh, trading capital <laughs> I'll show you guys what was the trading capital in terms of percentage it is closely about 1500 percentage if I put yes 1455 percentage the return in one year just imagine guys so this is the impact of compounding if you are doing compounding on a monthly basis with a fixed amount of uh, position sizing of in this case let's say i'm trading with a 500 next month i'm going to increase this to 250 my trading strategy is always like this because our trading just imagine our trade what is our trading capacity our trading maximum we take is to, uh, uh 2.5 percentage so increase your contract size like the same it's, it's that straightforward because you are taking 2.5 percentage risk then you increase your contract size by 250 250 just increase 250 if you are increasing your con uh, when you increase your opposition sizing obviously your risk and reward is also increasing so if you follow completely the same this exact same numbers which i'm telling and you can do the math whatever i try to do with the delta exchange platform which i show you guys you do the same you'll be getting a similar amount over here which shows that this is the risk that you should take based on the capital that you have which is 2.5 percentage if you're trading with a 2.5 percentage your maximum contract that you you should be trading will be this okay i hope it is clear for you guys as i promised i'll show you guys for the next two years if you're continuously doing this particular strategy let's uh, go step by step right so now you know if you do do this for a year with one thousand five hundred dollars you'll be making about one thousand four hundred fifty five percentage on capital deploy your capital will be sitting about 21k which is good it's not a crazy amount but which is really good for a lot of people out there i know 
but let's say we are going to do the strategy for next six months which is one two three four five one two three four five six let's say till april if we are going to continue the strategy let's see what is the impact let's see what is going to be the impact i'm very curious as well let's see how much we will be making if you're going to continue doing the strategy for six more months that means you're doing this for about a year and a half if you're doing the same strategy for a year and a half without adding any capital into the trading you'll be making about 66k with just 1500 if you're continuously doing the strategy so this is the power of compounding this is the power of having a discipline this is the power of having a trading system and you're trading now your position sizing is 4750 contracts and you are just killing it and if you're doing this for another year that means you're doing it for two years on a row in a row sorry let's see what is going to be your impact so that means you're following the strategy for two years same a strategy with 75 percentage win rate a strategy with uh, uh, as i said a strategy with a 75 percentage win rate a strategy with uh, uh, the same kind of a one is to one risk to reward and your position sizing is fixed for a month if you do this and your maximum risk is just 2.5 percentage in a month no matter what you are trading just do the simple math which i tell you guys you will be sitting about 317k capital you will be making about 79k in a month and i will share with you guys what is this means to your initial capital that you deploy the initial capital that you deploy to this you are making about 21,175 percentage return that is insane that is crazy that is how good compounding is if you want to know what's the power of compounding this is the power of compounding but is it difficult to do yes it is difficult to do it is difficult to be systematic it is difficult to be disciplined in order to do all these kind of things so just imagine you have to survive in the very first months very first months with the less amount of uh, risk less amount of reward you should be satisfied by yourself try to keep the system running until you find some meaningful amount now over here you start to make some good amount over the year time you see over a year time in november to next november now you're taking making some meaningful amount you're making about thousand thousand four fifty five percentage return that is insane but if you keep on doing the same following the same 2.5 percentage risk same 75 percentage win rate strategy one is to one risk to reward if you follow the same and your position sizing increase systematically systematically you are increasing the position sizing 250 contracts each every time you your capital is increased every time your capital is increased every time you make profit in a month you are systematically increasing your position sizing or number of contracts that you're trading you will be sitting in one year exactly in uh, sorry in two years time you'll be sitting at about 317k which is insane amount of money for any trader i would say and your capital return capital deployed in the early stage if you calculate two years it's crazy so this is the power of commanding guys and uh, i'll share with you guys one more interesting one if you trade for six more months let's see <coughs> so this is two and a half years of the same strategy because we are using 2.5 percentage we are increasing 250 contracts each so i thought i should share with you guys for two and a half years if you are doing the strategy for 2.5 years you are sitting at about 1.2 million capital this is this is your first million your first million is just two and a half years away if you have the patience to do it if you have the patience if you have the discipline if you have the consistency to stay up and do the same strategy same thing over and over again until the probability runs out you get that 75 percentage win rate you make sure the your risk is uh, the risk is max risk is respected mask uh, the reward is uh, always more than the risk uh, you make sure the number of uh, contracts that you're trading that your position sizing is fixed in a month and you are increasing it systematically you are sitting at about 1.2 million in two and a half years i know that this may sound crazy for some people this may sound uh, not very interesting for some people some of them wants to make a million in a year <laughs> i know that this 
I am not saying that it's not possible. Definitely, I am not saying it's not possible. It is possible, but it is not possible to make an equity curve goes like this, go straight like this. The people who makes lot of money overnight, the capital uh, it, it, it comes back like this. It comes goes back like this and it comes back like this. So if you want to be someone who is who is consistent, who wants a steady equity curve, then you should follow some systematic strategy. You should uh, understand what is the risk, what is the reward. What is the number of contracts that you should be trading in? Then you let the probability run out. You make sure you do it systematically, day in day out. That's it. That's what I'm doing right now as well. And I hope you guys understand right now why I'm trading at about 500 contracts right now. Because the 500 contracts is the maximum risk. Based on my risk, that's the maximum number of contracts that I can trade for my particular strategy. Okay, guys, that's it. That's what I want to share with you guys today. I know that um, if somebody who is watching this, maybe seeing a lot of numbers, maybe not understanding what just happened over here, no worries. You can just write down, take a piece of paper, write down all the things. You take a calculator on your side, watch the video again. And whenever I mention about the formula, so let's say 2.5%, you calculate and you write it down. You use a paper, you use your diary. I don't know, you whatever you want, you use it, whichever you feels more comfortable to you and you do this math and you use your strategy i i mean your capital this is my capital that's why i share with you guys like this use your capital where you're standing and see how far is your first uh, uh 10k or 1k how far is your first 100k or how far is your first 1 million you just check and systematically write down and uh like keep uh, keep uh, keep doing it in a systematic way definitely you will achieve it as well so that's it guys that's what i want to share with you guys today i hope you guys have enjoyed the video so if you guys like this kind of content give a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section how was it and uh, any of the part which i mentioned is not clear for you guys i'll definitely give a detailed video if you want so that's it thank you guys i wish you guys all the best for the month i wish you guys all the best for the week i hope you guys having a great weekend and there is a national holiday for indians out there so happy diwali to all the indians and i see you guys in the next video trade safe